You guys, I hope you guys are having a great Monday so far. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this ticker symbol SHLL. Tortoise acquisitions, could they be the next Nikola Motors, etc, etc, etc. But before I get into that, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button. I make these videos for free. I don't offer paid chat rooms, I don't offer paid stock rooms, alerts, discords, courses, anything like that. It's all free on my YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe because I make these videos daily. Try to find stocks for you guys so you guys can be more profitable as well. Long-term growth, short-term options, whatever you guys want, I'll make them. So, looking at this company right here, Tortoise Acquisition. Basically what this company is, it's they're an acquisition company. Uh, you know, they have a common stock and they also have a warrant right here. So that warrant is about, you know, the third of what the price is trading at. So, looking at this company, they just announced that they will be merging with Helion Motors. It says right here. Which basically is they, they're racing to find a deal to acquire and bring a publicly privately held a public privately held electrified powertrain solutions for class 8 commercial vehicles. That company is Helion, guys. So, will it be the next Nikola? Nikola, they're bringing new automotive, uh, you know, ways of transportation, automotive cars to the industry. Helion is going to be working with what's already out there, what powertrains are already out there. They're just going to be using their, you know, electrified powertrain on that piece of equipment. So, looking at the company right here, as you can see from this truck right here, we see these trucks all the time. They're the typical Class 8 powertrain vehicles, 18-wheelers that we see out on the road. But what this company isn't doing, like what Nicole is doing, is they aren't being a whole new line of vehicles. They're just using what's already out there. There are some differences within this company, Nikola, and Tesla. So Nikola and Tesla are bringing new vehicles to the market. Helion is using what's already out there. So if you guys are looking for that company which has new vehicles bringing out to the market, relatively new startup, go with Nikola. If you guys are looking for some, a company that uses what's already out there, go with Helion. He, okay, so they announced, you know, with right here on their main page, they'll have a, they're announcing a merger combined with the company to remain listed on the New York Stock, Stock, Stock Exchange. Let's look at more about what the company is. So, Helion has announced their merger with the Taurus Acquisition Corporation. And basically what they're saying right here is just basically what I've already gone over, guys. So, looking down here, um, participants, no forward else statements about Helion right here. So, headquartered in Texas, their mission is to reduce the carbon intensity and greenhouse gas emissions for commercial transportation class 8 vehicles by... Being the leading provider in, in electrified powertrain solutions, advanced soft, software algorith algorithms, and the analytics capabilities. Helion offers fleets to basically ease the efficiency system and decrease the fuel and operating expenses integrated within the existing fleet operations. So they're more of a strategized company instead of a company like Tesla and Nikola. Where I believe this stock is heading, guys, that will be hard to tell until the stock officially IPOs. I've looked for the date online. I cannot find the set date yet. But when the stock IPOs, analysts look at the stock and they set that price target, we can get a better sense of direction. But for right now, me personally, I will not be taking a position within this company, guys. But if you want to still take a look at their warrant, you guys are going to have to use like Weeble or TD Ameritrade, E-Trade. Uh, you cannot use Robinhood by warrant. They don't offer them. So looking at this, it's up 320%. Uh, that's way more than what the stock is normally at. Warrants are like options. You have the right to own this warrant until a certain date. Uh, I'm not sure when this one expires. The Nicola warrant expires in 2023. So basically, you can hold on to this warrant. Uh, it, what it's saying is if you have the right to sell the warrant within this certain time frame, if you don't sell it, it will expire worthless, kind of like an option. All right, guys, so that's basically my input on this company. Uh, it'll be hard to tell where it's heading until they officially IPO and analysts start taking a look at it. But for right now, uh, that's my input. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment below.